somebody trashed this garden. They put smelly fish on the floor and they spray painted the grass gray. And these two V detectives are here to figure out who trashed the garden. We will get to the bottom of this. Who trashed this garden? I don't know, but these fish smell pretty nasty. We will get to the bottom of this because we are the Garden V Detectives. Hey, welcome to our scene on Gardnerella Vaginalis. Gardnerella Vaginalis is a gram variable rod. It isn't gram staining, it's not clearly gram positive or gram negative, and that's why we have the purple flowers and the pink flowers. All right, so Gardnerella Vaginalis is associated with bacterial vaginosis, which presents with a, a vaginal discharge with a characteristic fishy smell, and that's why these fish here, these smelly fish here on the floor, whoever trashed the garden put these here. And we have the spray painted grass gray to help us remember that there's a characteristic gray vaginal discharge with Gardnerella vaginalis. These detectives here are looking for clues to figure out who did it to help us remember the clue cells involved, uh, associated with Gardnerella vaginalis, which have a speckled appearance along the outer margin. This detective over here is taking a really big whiff out of that fish. The really big whiff to help us remember that the whiff test, which involves addition of potassium hydroxide to vaginal discharge in a suspected individual with Gardnerella vaginalis, and the uh, positive result would be a strong fishy odor. If you look, someone put a sign on this garden, whoever garden it is, put a sign here that says flower garden. They spelled flower garden wrong, they spelled it with a PH at the beginning. Doubles remember that the PH is up, it's high up, right? PH is high up because in Gardnerella vaginalis, the bacterial vaginosis infection causes a characteristic increase in the PH of the vagina. Normally it would be on average, let's say, 4, and it can go up to like 4.5 or 5. Alright, if you note know that this scene is pretty clean, we try to stay clean in AJ's animal medical mnemonics, but I'm making a specific point of it in this scene to help us remember that Gardnerella vaginalis is not sexually transmitted, okay? Now, um, we take a look over here, we see a knight that came out of this metro subway thing. This knight came out of the metro subway, and he got out because he smelled a really smelly fish. So this metro, this knight that came out of the metro is to help us remember metronidazole, which is the treatment for Gardnerella vaginalis. Just as a final point, which is not in the scene, we like to make, a, make things complete, just to help us remember the mobiluncus, which is an anaerobe, that's an a organism associated with overgrowth of Gardnerella vaginalis in a vaginal canal. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed the scene. Gardnerella vaginalis, um, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.